Now a cool idea popped into my head this morning. Uh, what if I want to save information between PowerShell sessions? So if I create a variable and I use it and then I close the session and then reopen it, how do I get that information? Um, global variables don't store it, um, so I could store it as a registry key, but that seems kind of inflexible. So the option I went with is let's store it as a JSON file, since most of the variables I use are almost always arrays anyway. Um, it seems perfectly natural to store it as a JSON. So let's have a bit of a deeper dive into this. So first of all, let's clear the variable. And we can see now that variable is empty, there's no information stored there. So I should now be able to import the information back into that variable from the file. So if I do a get content and convert from JSON, I can now see the content. Now this isn't obviously quite what I had in mind, since I realistically wanted to return only two of the fields and obviously there's a lot more fields than that. So this is where it comes into the whole consider what you're storing first of all. So in this case, I want to store the name and the full path. So in this case, that falls under the uh, full name of, of information. So when I'm creating the variable, in this case, I'm going to filter it a little bit and do the select object properties and then just take the name and full name so that I have that information passed into the JSON file and only that information passed into the JSON file. I'm also then going to clear the variable to prove that you know it's empty. I'm then going to give the variable output and then I'm going to import the variable and check the output again. So when I hit return and you see the output, it's actually coming from the last statement there because there was no previous one where it should have any output because the previous one was already cleared. But let's kind of run through this in a bit more of a practice session. So let's pretend as an example we do this in a more of a real world scenario where we say okay in between sessions we want to check if the variable still exists. So we would have an if statement. So we'd create the variable, we'd run through all the checks and then we'd have a if. Now a more practical world scenario might be putting the if at the beginning and saying if it doesn't exist create it. But just for the demo's purpose this is fine. And you see the output here again, just like we had before. It's cleared and then it's pulled back in from the JSON. So using this is an exceptionally powerful and easy way to store information between PowerShell sessions. And you may or may not find a use for it. Frankly, I just thought it was a cool, interesting thing that you can do with PowerShell. And um, hey, you know, use it how you want. That's all for this video. See you in the next one.